Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Katie and in today's video I'm bringing you guys my top 10 books from the past decade. So this will be like from 2010 all the way up to like 2019 of like top books of the year. So like I literally I went into Goodreads and I went onto the lists and I typed in like on the lists of you know young adult books that came out during those years and I pretty much like selected a book from each one of those. I was like oh yeah definitely this one definitely this one like without a doubt sort of thing so please bear with me because it's thinking way back like 10 years ago and I can't believe it so although I didn't read these books the year that they come out these are books that I have read so starting off with 2010 the book that I have chosen for this one is Clockwork Angel the first book that's in the Infernal Devices trilogy I read this book a year or so ago I fell in love with it I'm currently reading the Mortal Instruments books in order of like publication so like I'm kind of like mingling between the Infernal Devices and Mortal Instruments and so that they make sense and all of that and I'm really really enjoying like going through it and I just I just love the first book this in this trilogy and it's literally it's about like the London Institute and you've got like Tessa you've got William Harrendale and then you've got Jim Costas and they're all like shadow hunters except that Tessa she is a downworlder what they consider like you know like vampire shapeshifters werewolves you know the, the creatures sort of thing but she's not bad she she's yeah she's definitely got her hidden talents and obviously there's the German Wilcastes who are the shadow hunters of the London Institute and there's things going down and it's awesome I'll link my review of this down below because I reviewed it and I loved it and if you guys haven't read it you need to so for the year of 2011 I am going to go for Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the first book that is in her Lux series. I read this, gosh, like probably five years ago. I fell in love with it. It's it's about this girl, she's a human, and then there are these aliens that like come to, into her world and she falls in love with one and yeah, it's just, it's cheesy, but it's also like really addictive at the same time. Oh my gosh, I haven't read it in so long. I probably am due a reread for it. But I, I just remember loving it. Like, oh my goodness, I just loved it so, so much. And I totally, totally recommend it. From the year of 2012, we have The Fault in Our Stars. So I actually got this book in my first ever book haul, in my January book haul. And oh my goodness, like I read it and I cried. And I fell in love with it and then they made the movie and then I watched the movie I fell in love with it I cried this is one of my favorite ever books ever this is about Hazel who she pretty much is dying she goes to this sort of like support group she meets this this other guy she falls in love with him and they have this romance together they go to Amsterdam it's just like ah uh, and then something happens along the way which just causes everything and it's just it's beautiful and it will break you and but break you in like good ways and it will really really honestly make you appreciate everything in your life from 2013 we have unremembered by jessica brody i am due a reread of this this is on my reread shelf this is one of my favorite books ever i first read this way back in 2013 I had an art copy of it which I've still got because I just loved it that much and then the, I did a review on it and then the publisher changed all the covers to these which I absolutely love it's so gorgeous and they sent them to me and I was just like oh my goodness like and I've still yet to finish the trilogy I don't want it to end I have a thing where I just don't finish trilogies but I'm doing a reread of it I loved it the first time around. It's about a girl, she wakes up not remembering anything about herself whatsoever and then this guy is just like, you are this person, I know you and then she just like follows him and then 
yeah it's just it's just so cool I mean like she's all she knows is like she's just survived this plane crash and it's just like but like who is she she's got no memory she doesn't know where she's come from um, and then people are trying to find her like oh yeah it's just it's just really good I love those sort of premises where they just have no memory of anything and then they're finding out things along with you and it's just oh yeah I really want to reread it now <laughs> From 2014, we have Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. I read this only literally last year. Oh my goodness, guys. Such a good book. So this is about a girl called Lexi. Something has happened to her, like nobody really sort of like knows. And then there's this guy called Bodie. He's quite mysterious. He's quite, he comes to live with their family and they sort of like befriend each other and get to know each other. And really it's just kind of like about her sort of like revealing this sort of thing that happened and opening up about it and oh yeah just their their friendship is just like everything and yeah it's such a beautiful beautiful book more people need to read it it's just it's really really good it's just it's so flawed that it's good from the year 2015 we have all the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven which has recently become a Netflix movie and for all the good reasons this book has been like movie optioned for like years it feels like it feels like it was optioned for a movie like back when it was released like five years ago but it's such a beautiful story that's about this girl who's very troubled and about this guy who's very troubled they both have anxiety and depression they meet each other one of them is about to jump off of a bell tower the other one talks them down so they befriend each other and they're both very troubled and they just sort of find that the bright places are within each other it's just so good has a really good representation of anxiety and depression in my opinion because i suffer with it myself i cried i cried at the book i bawled my eyes out i cried at the movie it's very powerful and more people should read it. From 2016 we have Inferno by Catherine Doyle. I didn't read a lot of popular YA for the past few years so this is one of those years where the only sort of like popular book I read from that year was this book. So this is the sequel to Vendetta which is basically a Romeo and Juliet twist that's based in the nowadays so like instead of Romeo and the Capulets and all that, they're a mafia. So like, Romeo and his family are a group of mafia. And then we have the girl who is kind of like Juliet, get involved into this mafia and they fall in love and then she gets involved in the mafia and it's all like, ah. So Inferno is the sequel, continue on with that journey and again, so so good you guys just need to read it i need to complete this actually because there are three books in this and oh yeah i just i've got to finish this from 2017 my book choice is eliza and her monsters by francesca zapia such a good book so this is about this girl who has written this story and then there's this guy who has written this fan fiction on her story and they go to the same school and one of them knows the other person's done it like but the other person doesn't and it's just like it's so cool <laughs> just just tell me and everything and i just it's such a fantastic book from 2018 i've chosen the cruel prince i read the whole trilogy last year loved them all cruel prince is amazing it's about this girl called you and she has her parents murdered and so she has to go live in the fairy world she's got a twin sister and she's got another sister who is fairy and so she has to live under all the fairies in the fairy land with the royalty of prince Cardin and his family and Jude's just a very powerful character and just shit goes down and it's so entertaining <laughs> so good I love it and then from last year 2019 my favorite book of the year was Daisy Jones and Six it's such a good book it's based 
in like the era of I think it's the 70s and it's basically told in interview format of Daisy Jones, this singer, and The Six which is this band and how they formed together and the scandals and the sex and the drugs and the rock and roll basically. It's like they are real people, like how it's written, it's like they were a real band. Like it's so good, you believe these characters, it's it's just it's so good. Like I flew through this book and it's been a while since I've devoured a book like that and oh my god, it was just, it's one of the first books I read of the year and it ended up being my favourite of the year. It was just, it was so good. I loved it so, so much and more and more people need to read it and it deserves all the hype like it's so hyped it's hyped for a reason like just more people need to read it and it's it's honestly it's amazing it's so so amazing and just really really good and yeah it's just it's, it's awesome so they have it guys those are my top books from the past decade from 2010 all the way up to 2019 crazy thinking of going back that some of these were released way back then and like I say I read them all not necessarily in the year of release but some of them I read you know literally like within the last couple of years but it's the fact that they came out during those years it's crazy thinking that Clockwork Angel came out about 10 years ago and I read it a couple of years ago I mean that's 10 years old now that book that's crazy thinking that it was that long ago like just it's mental and then, I mean, this is one of my favourite books and I read this at the beginning of my booktube journey and like that just has a very sentimental value. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this video. I've seen other people's videos and, and yeah, I really liked their videos too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed mine. If you have, give it a thumbs up and let me know your list of books from the past decade down below in the comments and let's chat about it. Do you agree with mine? and so on and so forth but all my social media links are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye